Hey everybody, Pierre Coeur here from Remax Hallmark. Brand new listing coming to the market this week, 2226 Tawny Road. This is right near Elmville and Alta Vista. This beautiful duplex. So it's a non-conforming duplex. Let me go through it with you. So standing here in the front entrance, that is the entrance to unit number one upstairs. They are connected though by a door. You have the front entrance there sliding. So you can tell everything in here has been fully renovated. This is a full gut and reno. So everything is brand new in the last year. Beautiful open space. You can tell the original hardwood floors up here were preserved and refinished. Stainless steel appliances. You got the double oven there. Beautiful backsplash. Brand new kitchen. Large island with a double sink overlooking the family and living uh, family room and the dining room area there. You can tell the windows. Windows are all brand new. Now the place is currently tenanted with a tenant that has rented the whole dwelling out for $2,400 a month. This is on a fixed term lease until the end of April next year. So vacant possession is available May 1st. And of course, for investors, immediately. It's a nice big window there. Taking another look here at the first floor. Let's make our way down the hallway. So first door here on the left is just a linen closet. First door on my right, smallest bedroom. So you can see freshly painted everything, brand new doors. Bedroom number two. So upstairs has three bedrooms and two full bathrooms, or two, sorry, one and a half bathrooms, two bathrooms. Take a look at the closet space. So you got lots of space up there. Next door is the beautiful renovated bathroom. Take a look at this. Nice floating vanity with the light underneath. Beautiful mirror. New window again. And look at this tile design. Love this tile. And the deep soaker tub. All right, next. We got the master. So it does have a half bath ensuite. Again, new floating vanity. So master has the walk out to the large backyard. Let's go take a look there. So you can see, so it's all fenced in, well maintained. Even the patio door there is new. So everything here is new. Let's go take a look downstairs. So this was the upstairs unit. Nice and spacious. Now the units connect through this door here. So unit number two entrance would be here on the side, the left side of the house. So you would come in this door and go straight down these steps. Now you got the unit door here and you've got the laundry room, which is shared right here. So washer dryer, again, new windows. And here you've got a new furnace and hot water tank. You can tell the furnace is from 2013 and the hot water tank is a little older. So going into the unit, you'll notice right away for a basement apartment, this is super bright, spacious. You've got lots of windows. So already I'm counting one, two, 
That's in the bedroom there. Three, four, kitchen over here, five, and beautiful. All right, so let's take a look through. So dining area would be over here. Do you have a large living area over here? Bedroom right here with the walk-in closet. So again, nice big window. Now currently it's a non-conforming duplex because that window is actually just a tad too small to be egress. So for roughly $2,000 to cut a bigger hole and if we get a bigger window, you can get the permit from the city to turn this into a legal duplex. So over here, you've got the kitchen. Now going back to the duplex issue, I do have a letter from the city stating all the things that would need to happen to make this a legal duplex as the owners did apply to have it as a legal duplex, but you're just shy of that. So you do have this full second kitchen here. This island here is from Ikea, it is movable. But you do have the pot lights there. Look at this bathroom. Beautiful floating vanity again with the under lights. We got the shower cubby even cut into that shower. Deep soaker tub again. There is no mir mirror currently. Now the fridge door that was missing, it is in the, in the property. It's just being left off to make sure there's no mold or anything growing inside while it's not being used. So this is the basement unit at 2226 Tani. And that was your tour. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you.